Hello, welcome to the Reactive Resins instructional video on how to apply ArmorGuard ST, our cutting edge epoxy ceramic metal primer. A choice of three hardeners are available, which means ArmorGuard ST can be used for diverse applications in most climactic conditions. Epoxy coating should be overcoated before they've fully cured so that a chemical bond develops between the coats. The degree of intercoat bonding will reduce as the earlier coat cures. Please refer to our website for more information regarding hardeners. ArmorGuard should be applied to shot or hydroblasted steel that's free from traces of soluble salts. It can also be applied to well prepared surfaces provided they're free of contamination. The resin and hardener must be mixed in the correct ratios to ensure complete curing of the product. Each reactive resin's coating is supplied with the correct amount of hardener, all of which must be added to the can of resin and mixed well before use. Thorough mixing is critical and although small packs can be mixed by hand, a spiral mixer is advised for larger packs. Ensure all corners of the tin are scraped to remove any unmixed material. It's a good idea to pour large cans of mixed material into a larger bucket to avoid spillage and ensure the product is adequately mixed. ArmorGuard can be applied to damp but not wet substrates when used with cinnamon 1055 hardener. Puddles and large drops of water should be mopped up or blown away with compressed air before application of the coating. The product can be applied with a brush, short pile roller or by high pressure airless or conventional spray equipment supplied with material from a pressure pot. Three coats should be applied to a dry film thickness of 360 microns. ArmorGuard ST can also be applied to small areas by brush. For more information or to place an order, please visit our website.